24 and you're welcome to this series on informatica pim informatica product 360 degree all right so let's get started on this thing so what exactly is informatica pim so let's try to understand this thing so the tool that you see in front of you this is what is informatica pim earlier this was called as informatica uh, sorry it was called as healer so that was a german company you can see here h-e-i-l-e-r healer that's the company and informatica acquired this company and then they just uh, i mean they are using it as uh, renamed it so that's what they have done all right so what exactly is pim now pim is slightly confusing because it's uh, it's not for every domain it's related to product domains and retail domains stuff like that so probably who are coming from finance and other sectors might not be able to understand so let me put it very very simply so that even a, even a kiddo a kid can understand what exactly is pim so let's get started so amazon let me go to amazon take the example of amazon all right just one second i'll go here so let me go to amazon let's say that i'm looking for something called as a t-shirt so let's say t-shirt uh, let's say this guy so rockstar t-shirt okay so that's one star i wouldn't want that but uh, let's say this one see here this is also not that great just one second i will one minute so t-shirt let's search for a great one okay let's say this one so you see here uh, when i'm searching for this t-shirt then you can see a lot of stuff you see this first of all you see a image a um, image file then you see a, a similar an image that contains an infographics kind of stuff which contains the size and all that things and then you see a video right so uh, and here if you go you see the size all that stuff and then you see the percentage cotton so more all these things and then you see the pricing the pricing is quite dynamic it means let's say if i purchase this product in germany if i purchase this thing in us india then it will be different prices which is quite natural but you will also see something like if you're purchasing in your mac then the price will be different if you're purchasing in your desktop then the price will be different and in a iphone or uh, android phone it will be different so it will be different in different uh, user agents we call them user agents right so that's how is it possible who manages that thing do you think amazon the, the website manages of course the website does it but there is a software that powers this whole thing and that's the pim product information management so all the products that you see here all this product stuff that's managed by informatica pim especially the pricing one which is uh, you can say informatica does it but pretty much it's done by the sap module in most of the projects because sap is quite advanced in terms of the pricing but anyway uh, that's not the point so you see here and the suggestions as well as you see so customers who bought this product also bought this 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 stuff so this all stuff people think a lot of people think that okay it's something it's something crazy like amazon does pattern identification does it of course they are great they are doing it but internally there's a software which does it that's them right and that's what we are talking about so this is what uh, the pim is right so this is the software pim and uh, talking about the interface this interface is not like the other interfaces so other interfaces in the sense so we have seen uh, tools like informatica mdm informatica data quality informatica power center now those tools are quite similar but this one is different this one is pretty much like eclipse based because this was purchased remember i told you that this is not an original informatica product so talking about that see this is i have already told you that this is not for all the domains this is only for limited retail and product kind of domains and you see there are, it's quite a uh, there are a lot of things that can be done uh, it automates a lot of stuff so you can see here supplier catalogs let's say you are running a retail shop or let's say something like an e-commerce site like amazon then all the supply catalogs then yeah and one more thing you can also integrate a bpm business process management now what exactly is bpm uh, i don't have time for that i'll explain it in uh, a separate video but anyway bpm is nothing but uh, you have processes like uh, you have like one process another process another thing right and there's a software that integrates all that thing 
let's say if i explain in a very simple way let's say um, let's say i have to uh, move data from uh, move data to mainframe right mainframes so i can list down many things so move data to mainframes move it to another system then do this then do that so all that stuff all that thing that's nothing but that's what i mean that can be managed in business process management and the bpm tool that informatica uses that's active vos that is also an informatica product for uh, your information active vos and see here the multimedia attachments and all that stuff so i told you right you can manage images you can manage stuff like your uh, videos images any any type of multimedia stuff so that's done here and import you can do import export of the stuff right and create processes the one more thing that you can use informatica data quality or other data quality tools also can be used so that makes this thing quite powerful because uh, let's say you get data from your uh, supplier right whoever is providing the products then you cleanse the data you do the data quality stuff properly and then you load it in your system you just don't don't load any junk data so that's all that all stuff that's done by this idq all right idq can be integrated with them so that's what you see here idq quality manual check schedule all that stuff and um, right so and explorer you can see here you can have something like master catalog or you can create your own catalogs as well and and the good thing is you will see the most important thing it uh, you don't have 10 20 different tools for this thing you just have one tool that's this tool uh, you have you do have another tool but it's not that important but this one if you understand this tool then you can do pretty much most of the stuff that are needed and talking about a lot of people ask me what's the prerequisite i mean can anyone learn um yeah anyone can learn this um from prerequisite point of view i would say it's nothing much but sometimes for customization you would need a little bit of java sometimes for customization but anyway customization is not something that you will do every day i mean you how many times you uh, you would have ordered uh, helicopter uh, helicopter uh, what do you say wheels something for your bicycle or say truck wheels for your bicycle that's customization so you don't do that do that every day so you don't need to worry on that if you don't know uh, apart from that everything is uh, quite easy and simple and this is uh, i would say it's a very small tool compared with other things uh, it's quite limited and small um right so i hope you like this session you enjoyed it if you have anything any doubts or anything i will be creating a tutorial series on this whole product where i will explain you step by step what are all the things that you need to do to configure it i'm preparing that so till then thanks guys thank you for watching this stuff and if you do like please leave a comment i would really love to hear your views on what exactly is pim and what do you expect what can how can i help you in this process Thanks guys, thank you very much.